Good morning. Uh, so today, back to uh, Snippet Pixie next. Um, let's see where we were yesterday. Right, okay. That's right, so we've got um, SVN I18N up and running, so I can do translations. Um, and I think we had that in, we've got that working in the welcome screen. Um, and we had just started creating an add snippet um, screen. So let's uh, let's bring up the app and see uh, what it looks like so far. That's it. So there's not a lot going on. Um, we have. Uh, this is uh, the screen that will be displayed when we don't have any snippets yet. Uh, and then we'll be doing add snippet and then something goes on here, but we haven't got anything. As I'm in dev mode, I can do a back here, which is pretty handy. Um, so let's start um, filling out um, this add snippet screen um, so that we can do something. So um, let's see. We are going to now we need to make some decisions about the layout. At the moment, this um, centered layout is it's like an introduction window so it's okay being centered and so on um, but when it comes to actual utility windows I'm not sure if I want to, to have all this sort of title stuff here Yeah, maybe. We can start with that. Okay, so let's put a little wrapper in. Um, because what we want is we will go for centered at the moment. I think. Got this little, uh, we've got a global centered thing. So we'll see what that does. Okay. Now, for um, a snippet, we need two pieces of information when you're adding a snippet. We need the abbreviation you're going to use, and then obviously the body of it. Um, and then, of course, we need to be able to um, save. So we're going to need a button for saving. Um, and we probably want to say, nope, discard this as well. So a cancel button. Um, and for the time being, that's all we probably need. Um, we could be creating this add snippet component as a wrapper to a sort of more utility edit snippet. Um, and then just passing in the fact that we don't have an ID um, and let it do the switching. But I think for the moment, I'm just going to rough it out um, as a plain edit um, add snippet component uh, with all the controls in here. And then later on, we can refactor it. Um, so I'll make it pretty simple at the moment. So we're going to need um, 
a label. Um, and this will be for um, abbreviation. And then I think because I want the label above, we'll do that here. So what we'll have is we're going to have to have, there we go, that. And we'll have this as abbreviation. And then we're going to need an input. And we'll make sure it's type text. And we'll give it the ID of abbreviation. And we will bind that to some value. So we're going to need a variable. Um, and we'll call that abbreviation. And then we'll close it off here. Now we don't have that yet. So let's create that. Make sure it's initialized to nothing. There we go. Now here, let's see what happens. I think it will go. It will complain because I haven't put this um, translation in yet. Let's see what happens. Interesting. I've not seen that before. That's quite good. Abbreviation is not a valid binding. Of course, I've used the wrong thing, haven't I? Um, so that's nice and horrid, but at least it's uh, done a fallback on the uh, thing there. So let's add abbreviation here. Right. So we'll style all this up afterwards. Um, but that is a nice big input. I'm surprised it's so big actually. Okay. Should we just test that that actually does something? So what I'll do is I'll just put underneath, I'll just put a quick paragraph here, and the contents will just be um, the abbreviation. Just make sure the binding is working. Nope. Okay, I thought that might be wrong. I'm not doing the right thing here. I'm not awake. So why can't I just use what I expected? Oh, I know why. Bind. There's no value. Is that right? Am I doing the right thing there? Oh, 
Okay, that's better, I think. Yeah. Wake up, Ian. Okay. <clears throat> Coffee time, I think. So you can set the um, the value, um, or you can bind it. If you bind it, it's a two-way bind. Um, so that's what I needed to do. I forgot about that. OK. Um, so we have that working now. Um, so we could be entering like SP, blah. Um, <laughs> and of course, my snippet picks is going to do a thing. So I need to set that to not work well. It won't be working because uh, it'll be the only thing. But yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, maybe I should stop Snippy Pixie because I've got a proper one running at the moment. Nah, I'm just trying to avoid existing ones for the moment. Um, okay, um, so we'll get shot of that. Now we need. Um, Oops. That didn't work. There we go. Oh, I wonder if that's yeah, it's not gonna like that. I bet. So if I call this body, is it gonna complain? No, that's good. I wonder, am I allowed to do that? Apparently so. Let's do another quick test here. So we'll do... Um, abbreviation... We'll do that, and then we'll do this again, just to make sure all the bindings are working. Okay. Cool. Now, we need something slightly different from that. We don't actually want an input, we want a text area. So we don't need a type. And it's a different bind here, isn't it? So uh, we need to take that out and give it some content. And I've forgotten how to do this. There we go. Dunk. There we go. And let me start it off with... Actually, I don't know if we need to do that. Let's see. If I start it off with Wibble, does it work? Content is not a valid binding. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think I need to look at the dots. I've forgotten what I have to do there. It's a different setup for text areas. Um, probably not text expressions. Let's do bind. It's value. Okay, I was, so I did it right first time. I didn't see it in the list though. Okay. 
There we go. Yeah, so we get wibble by start. Not the start there. And then if I change it, it's fine. And I should be able to do more lines now. That's not showing up. For whatever reason. Interestingly. But that's fine. Okay. Take that out. Okay. Right. We don't need these two here. We'll have to look at that. Um... Oh, I know why. I'll just quickly undo that so we can see it again. Do this, look. So when I put in, no, no it's not going to switch it to. Line breaks. Hmm. I have to look at that because um. I'll be interesting to convert. Um. But we'll see what the data is later. I'm not bothered at the moment. Uh, okay, so now we need to do something better than what we've got. So the styling is all wrong. Um, and we need some sp we need some spacing. We need some color changes here. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll do this kind of globally. Um. Let me just double check what happens when I make this bigger. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, okay, so they stay the same size. Well, that's quite a restricted size, isn't it? I need that bigger than that. Okay. Quick change to the actual Go code. But in app, no, of course not. It's main. Okay, we've got some minimaxes here. Um, so these things will um, will set as um, preference. Well, we'll get these to be saved at some point, um, so that we have. Uh, so it comes back. If it's a floating window, it will have the, the, this size by default. Um, but I want the min width to be something smaller than that. I think. Um, let's go. Um, to the classic uh, 800 by 600 as the minimum um, and then max width shall we do Well, we could do something daft here, can't we? Because we don't really care. Let's do... Well, let's just do 2K for the moment. Um, and then that means it's not restricted on my screen for the moment. So that is what 
2160. Is that right? Height. Yes, because it's 1080. And then 1920. Um, so what's that? So that's like 3,000. So it's three, is that three, eight, four? Oops. That's something like that. I'll do. Um, yeah, so we'll do that. Right, yes, yeah, so I had to reboot this server. Uh, the uh, the app because uh, we changed the Go code there, but we should be able to make it a lot bigger now. I need to uh, increase the uh, hit on that. There we go. There we go. Way bigger and smaller too. That's good. That's okay size. Much neater. But I can make it bigger as well. That's good. Okay. Now, so they've got a fixed width at the moment. And I'm not sure whether I want to keep that. I certainly want the body to drop to the bottom. I want it to extend. This can be okay. I mean, it's a little, little bit. I mean, if I'm doing capitals there, it's got a little bit of padding above, but not to be the side. Bottom's okay. Yeah, it's all a little bit big, isn't it? Okay, I'm not sure why it's so big as well. It's as if it's not taking on my resolution stuff again. Hmm. I wonder. Let me just double check something because that could be a bit of an issue. Ooh. Okay. Oh, dear. 12 under there. Let's do export GDK scale. Oh, I had bit check. I've got that set, have I? GDK scale equals two if I do that that should cause all kinds of weird things to happen I think there you go <laughs> Wow, okay. Now that is actually, in theory, correct. Sort of. Everything's kind of in better proportion there. Okay, and then I've forgotten what the other one is. 
Uh, I've commented out my system because I was playing about with stuff. Um, It's fine. GDK DPI scale. So this is um, so the GDK scale That's interesting, actually. So I have been having problems trying to get this GDK scale stuff to work. And I've just used it with 2.0 instead of 2. So I've gone, so I've used a floating point instead of an integer. And I think that's made massive dis difference. But so I might be able to later on fix that up. So here. Um, so the scale, as you saw, multiplies everything up by two. And then the GDK DPI scale um, you use to reduce um, the text scale. Because quite often that gets blown up too. All right, let's see what happens there. Shouldn't make too much of a difference on this. Oh, there we go. All right. Okay. Interesting. That's more like I expected to happen because that's more, that's closer to the the default of I think it's about is it about thirty characters. Or less, oh, less. Only twenty odd. Okay. All right. Well, I've, I need to sort out my system to do that. But we now have some weirdness to play with. So, um. That's not too bad. Um, we'll be able to fix this up. We'll be able to maybe make this like a central thing. Um, and I'll be having, sorry, I'll be having, I'll be adding more stuff. So I'll be, ha I'll be needing things like import snippets and so on. And this welcome screen. So that's okay. This icon is maybe a little bit big. Certainly with this not being quite so. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's okay. But this, this has got to change. Big time. Uh, but how? What shall I do? Well, I don't think I want to stretch it all the way across because that is going to be huge. But it certainly needs some more width. And certainly, although that's not too bad. Uh, 
maybe <clears throat> maybe eighty percent or something. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Um, let me reduce this down again. I need to change the uh, border width on this because it's not working. Hold on. I'll do it this way. Did a little, 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 little. Okay. So the minimum. No. Okay. Might want to reduce the uh, the minimum on that as well. Okay, let's just put that back. Yeah. Okay. That's still quite big. It just doesn't need to be that big. So let's make it six and four. And I think I'll make the default hundred by six hundred. So that's that's the default size, and that's the smallest. That's okay. I might reduce the icon down. Okay, um, so CSS, we have some utility stuff here. Um, so labels, let's make labels. Um, Hmm, this is going to be interesting. This is within flex. And we've got um, a line center. How do I break out of that? Can I just do... Can I do that? Uh, of course, it's not like that, is it? It's a content thing, isn't it? Okay, I need to go read up on this again, because this is, um, how do I break out? I need to, it's so long since I've used this stuff. Yeah, let's do uh, flex start, see what happens, because I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, okay. I need to look up. Whoa. All right, MDN. Let's do flex.
back to the basic concepts here again. Now we're in column mode. So we're in flex direction column, aren't we? Yeah. So it's the cross axis that we Right, so it's the cross axis that I'm interested in. So that was wrong. Item starts on the start edge of the main axis. Okay. Items do not stretch on the main dimension but can shrink. Okay. It will stretch to fill the size of the cross axis. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. And all I need to do is text a line because it's already stretched. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> uh, right. Right, right, right. Okay. You stretch and it does nothing. Why? Okay, I need to read up more because that's, I think that's. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Okay. Right, let's do this little test here then. So, um, X direction. And then I have on top of that, I have a line item center. So that's the problem. Now that's not doing a stretch. So if I make that class equals one 
and then here. Why isn't that doing a stretch then? Oh, hold on a minute. But it's, I bet it's because I haven't got width. Interesting. Now, right above there, it says it stretches. The items will stretch to fill the size of the cross axis. So, oh, I know what it is. It's a content thing, isn't it? Content is the size. If some items are taller than the others, all items will stretch along the cross axis to fill its full size. Okay, that's what that's doing. Okay. Right. All right. There we go. Right. Flex grow, flex shrink, flex spaces. Okay. This is what we need. Actually, no, it's not. This is the main axis, isn't it? Okay. Okay. So align items is correct. I just need to put it back. My test one there. So in this example here, A 
take that out. But if I do, can I do? No, I can't. I can't do line items stretch because it's not a container. So it's not that. Justify. That's the one. <laughs> right. Justify content property is used to align the items on the main axis. Okay. That's no good again. Don't show me the flex time action has set by initial values flex start. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Now that would be for the centered, so middle. Okay, so it's different and why I've kind of done it wrong, basically. Do this. Now that will break things. There we go. Now let's do this instead, just while we're playing. So we'll do the container is display flex. Okay. And then we'll do, um, oh, what's the thing again? Flex direction is column. 
Right, okay. So we're getting really close to what we actually want already. Because what we can do then is a simple text align center for the H2. And then for the text area, well, what was that about space? Space between. So we could do justify content well space between Surely you're supposed to do Okay, I need to look that up. Okay, so instead, so in theory, 
I can do align self center and we'll get same as now that's on the cross axis if I were to do end would get a weirdness and have the h2 on the end yep okay so that's working fine okay all right it's kind of a bit annoying but anyway um what we'll do then is we'll just do some Can we do more flexy stuff? To give it space, so I don't have to use like padding and things. I suppose I could anyway. Right, line content. Probably should just use grid. Okay. I think I'm going to do a mix here because I'm not going to get what I want using just flex.
Okay, could do row gap. Mm, okay. I think I'm going to do it old school. And I might. So this is what's weird. Am I using row or column when I'm in column mode? Give it a quick go. Um, so what I'm trying to do is I want to give a little bit of space between sort of above the, the labels. Um, I'm probably just going to use a bit of margin or padding, but I just want to have a quick go. See, I can't do cell. So I just want to maybe, I just want to see what happens. So if I do, um, so if I do row gap, which would make sense, um, then I'll do like one rem. It's going to do something different, I think. No, I did do it. So it does take account of. That's fine. Gives it a little bit of space there. Okay. Just a little bit nicer. Um, okay. That input needs some work. Um, which we probably need to do. Well, we'll do it here and then we'll trans translate it to uh, something else. So. 
um, input and text area. What have we got in our global? Background and border. It's going to be a little bit too, a little bit too much doing the colouring, I think. Um, so what I was thinking of doing is swapping the colours. Um, that's interesting. Yeah, don't want to do that. But I was going to do it as this anyway, so. But what I could do is foreground. And we've lost the, uh, the border there. We'll do, do it individually. No, nope. I want a color, thank you. And we'll do for border. Slightly different there. And then we'll do a border radius of no point three. Okay. It's a little bit weird. So If I take that out, does it make much difference? It could do, I suppose. Um, on another machine, that's the thing. If I don't override it, what am I going to get? So I probably should explicitly set it. Yeah, we'll do that for the moment. Um, okay. And then the text area. Actually, what we'll do here is we'll do body. Uh, height, 100%, see what happens there. Oh, it's rose, isn't it? Um, How many rows? Ten. Um, 
It's not going to like it. Just do it on there then. I'm surprised it didn't kind of work that out. It's a shame. Okay. Uh, now the problem is it's not going to stretch with it. Is it be nice to? But for the time being, it'll do. Because actually, what I need to do is send um, some hook up for that. Oh, I need some buttons as well. Um. Okay. What we're going to do about buttons? Let's do. I'm going to have to be in a little container. Um, I'll call it as a bottom row. And we'll have a button ID equals cancel. Yeah, let's just say. might have to start doing things like label and title and things like that. There. Let's um let's try something out here. So let's do button. Oops, let's type it right. Uh, spell it right. Um, and we'll have cancel here. It'd help if I did that.
I'm not awake today. Just want to try that out, really. Let's see how it goes. And then here, we can do button cancel, button save, kill. And then our button row. We will do now it, it's not going to be well, I guess I can just do display flex again. If I do that though, it's going to go a little bit wonky, isn't it? It's not too bad. Um, it's a line items flex end, stick them all at the end. He says, oh, is it justify content? See, I'm not learning quick enough on this. Justify items. No, content then. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to have two different types of button here. Um, these are going to have to be... I'm going to make a button component at some point, but for the moment... I probably should do that first, really. Yeah. Let's make a button component. So, thank you. Yeah, it's going to be a button, and it has a slot. Um, and then it's going to have a class of primary class of secondary and then in the script we're going to export variable primary and by default we'll say true And for the secondary, we'll say false. Um, and we'll do a quick little uh, fix up here so that um,
just in case. So primary equals uh, Oops. What happened there? Oh, caps lock. Um, don't know what I've just done there. What is that? <laughs> right. Not primary. And not secondary then we'll make it true otherwise it's whatever it is And then the secondary, if we've got primary and secondary, then we'll make it false for itself. That's just making sure that if someone comes in and says, Right, primary and secondary are both, it's both primary and secondary, then we default to the primary being the one. Um, and then secondary, that's that one. Um, and then if neither primary or secondary is set, then primary becomes the default. Um, okay. <laughs> And then for styling, we will have let's see, we'll have. Ah, background color. Primary. And color. Ground. Oops, no, I didn't do that right. I knew I didn't do that right. Okay. And then for the secondary. do I have? That's fine. I think. Hmm. Maybe not. Well, let's see. We'll try it and then we'll um, we'll play about with these colours. 
think what I might do is actually make it a, a negative with an outline border. Maybe. Just like these text boxes, I don't think I'll keep them white either. I think I'll give them a lighter colour. But I need to define it. I mean, a, a sort of a grey or something. What I do need to find out is why I've got that. What is that? I don't know how I did that. Um, okay, so that's a button in theory. Oh, I need to give it some. Um, on click it needs to just bounce up. And here, do button, button, we'll take out the ID because I don't think we care about that anymore. Passing in that, we need to do Import of that oh, no, don't need that have button. We'll make that on primary. No, we won't. We'll make that one secondary. Thank you very much. Now we make this one primary. And did I do any button style in here? Just content, that's good. Okay, I'm going to have to um, close up in a minute. Okay, so we've got two of the same there with horrid styling. Now why... Why, I, why are they the same? What did I do wrong here? Let's take out... And that. Okay. So I did something weird here. So in theory, that was the one that was wrong, right? Well, that's okay. So if it's primary and secondary... Weird. Oh, okay. This is what we need to do. Okay. If you don't specify either primary or secondary, then you're going to become primary. 
if you specify both primary and secondary um, then it will become primary and otherwise it should be correct. Okay, there we go. Let's just double check that. So primary and secondary. It's primary still. And if I take out secondary here, it should become primary. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Now let's get some uh, bit of styling on here. So in both cases, um, yeah, Order width. Should we do like two pixels and see what that does? Same there. And then if we do order radius, not point. Should we do three again? And then I might switch the border up to be the same. Could be quite big in here. Hmm, maybe three. Gives it a little bit of extra. Oops. Okay. Um, and then... the color uh, really not a good day for typing um border oh, see what that does hmm not good about um foreground That's okay. Why has it got a radius on it? Um, a shadow. Everything's got a shadow. I need to take that out. Out. Oh, it's not box shadow either. That's the thing, isn't it? It's, um, I'll have to look that up. What is that?
Oh, yeah. The style I want. Well, if I do border style, um, solid, I wonder if that will stop it. Yeah. And then we'll add a border color here. So I think what I might do um, let's change that to primary. Might change that up as a name later. Hmm. Getting sucked into no, it's better. Uh, right, I've got to go. Um, I didn't actually get to what I wanted to do was actually hooking things up, but because um, I got sucked into playing with uh, CSS. Um, but okay, we're getting there. Uh, I think I'll change the colours on that later. So uh, I've got to go. Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, until next time. Uh, you take care.